We could use some rainfall. The heat continues. Have had a few showers, and as I'd mentioned at the top of our newscast, had a brief severe thunderstorm warning in coastal Mississippi. Remember, fairly decent little thunderstorm with some gusty winds, but most of us bake under the sunshine and heat indices expected to get near 112 again tomorrow. And so another heat advisory, and that will be a trend continuing into next week. Our current heat index, most locations in the triple digits, actual temperatures mid upper 90s. Now it's not as as bad as it could be. Dew points have been fluctuating more 60s and lower 70s. Normally, the most humid we get is when our dew points are in the upper 70s and low 80s, so it could be more humid. As long as that humidity stays down, albeit a bit, our heat indices have not been getting over 113, at least widespread, and that would prevent us from getting into that excessive heat warning level where we would see more locations into the 113 plus range. Not quite there, but boy, we're awfully close. 96 is our current high, our current temperature with a dew point of 74. Winds are light out of the northwest at five miles an hour. And today's high again, 98, but not a record. Our record yet again, another 100 that was set back just last year. We've had a few thunderstorms developing along the Gulf Coast, but overall, the upper ridging is dominant, and that will keep our temperatures into that mid upper 90 range really for quite a while. Now, there are some signs that this pattern will start to break down thanks to this upper troughing. But the upper troughing, at least the pattern as it's setting up, I'd mentioned this yesterday, would normally allow for some disturbances to kind of come right out of the high plains and down to the Gulf Coast. But at the moment, the models are not indicating any such disturbances that would help to increase our rain chances. What this troughing would also normally do fall, winter, would be bring down some cooler air. But we're not in fall or winter. We're still in the heart of summer. And what this upper troughing is going to do is bring in some drier air. While normally that would be a good thing, and it does look like it'll keep our humidity on the lower side, dry air warms easier than more humid air. So our upper 90s will continue, even though we might get a little bit of a break here into Saturday and Sunday with maybe a few more spotty showers. Our upper 90 forecast will continue with that drier air moving in and the temperature outlook for the next six to 10 days, a high likelihood we will remain above normal. Normal high is 92. I'd kill for that right now. And our rain chance is hovering around 20 to 30%. So we're not expecting much rain at all. Few isolated showers that develop during the day today will be coming to an end. May see a few isolated 20, maybe 30% as we head into our Wednesday. And then the models a little bit more aggressive with maybe a 30 at times, perhaps even a 40% chance. We'll hold us at about a 30% chance for some storms on Thursday. Here's the very latest on tropical storm Ernesto. It has moved into the extreme northeastern Caribbean right now. Thunderstorms, you got kind of one cluster right around the center, another one down to the south. So it has definitely gotten a bit better organized, but it could get a bit more organized as it moves away from the islands and starts strengthening to a category one than two hurricane. Forecast track really has not change. This is going to stay well to the east of the U.S. East Coast, so this is not a threat to the United States at all, and certainly not a threat to the Gulf Coast. And as of right now, beyond Ernesto, models not picking up on anything further developing for the next seven to even 10 days. Of course, we're not yet to the peak of the season, but every day, every week that is quiet is a good day or week. Highs in the upper 90s, few spotty showers into the weekend, but a bit drier and hot as we continue into next week.